Hey, oh, Gail. Hello, Kat. Hi. Whoa, same time. Hello. <laughs> Isn't that what you do? Exactly. Um, uh, so, we often g talk about super autos, espresso machines, cleaning, and caring for them. Mm -hmm. Loving them. Yeah, and um, so I thought. Maybe today you could show me how to take care of a coffee maker. A coffee maker? Well, yeah. okay. I All said, right. sure, Kat, I can do that for you. <laughs> got the Mona Vita here. Okay. It's the one we chose, you know, it's basically the same for any other one. We're going to do some more videos for some of the others, but for the Bona Vita, Clean Calf is the stuff you use. And what this does, it's got a descaler, plus it has a little detergent to take care of any of the oils. Oh, okay. So, okay. This gets diluted 32 ounces of water with a packet. And we use warm water because it dissolves much faster that way. Ooh, it's a pretty blue. Mm. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the water reservoir. See the soap? So it gets a little sudsy versus Descal does not. Yeah. Want to drink? I do. Come Thank on. you. It looks like it looks good. <laughs> <laughs> nice crema. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that over there. I, I can't pour left-handed. You know it'll go all over the place. Mm -mm. We have lots of left-handed people though in our organization. It's amazing to me. I think our percentage is a little higher than the average. So put that in there and all we're going to do is uh, run it through. Oh okay just like we're bringing a pot of coffee. Well I like to yeah what I like to do on this is I like to start it and run about half of the water tank through and then stop the machine. And let it hang out let for a little bit. Let that stuff hang out in there and then run the next half and let it hang out in there. And then probably run a couple of pots to flush it, but the taste okay. will tell the story. All right, so first... Let's just turn it turn on. Turn it on. Yeah. So it's just a glass carafe. It's mm -hmm. going to just brew down in there. Come on. We're waiting. Mm. <laughs> now, while we're waiting for it to get its um, story started, what other things do I do to take care of my oh, coffee maker? Stainless steel. We use Windex and a, a nice micro rag if you have one or a paper towel whatever like that okay wash the carafe with hot sudsy water wash this with hot sudsy water and this has a bit of a um ridges in it mm -hmm. i like to take up on the soft brush it's mm -hmm. in the ridges really nice or if you don't have the heat cycle on on your dishwasher you can throw these in the dishwasher oh okay i just don't recommend it with a heat cycle on you'll have something that doesn't resemble what it was when it went in i see a molten mass <laughs> Hi. So what that's doing is it's getting the um, clean calf, which is going to descale it all, down into the boiler where the calcium and lime and all the other minerals hang out. Can build up can build on up. the element yep. and stuff. Gets it through the whole waterworks up in here because mm -hmm. it's brewing. You, I don't know if you can see that in there, but it's yeah. coming out of the brew head. By the time you get done, it's we're through. about halfway through. So do you want to... Do you want to pause it and then well, we'll like... It didn't, uh, it wasn't full, 32 ounces. Oh, so. it wasn't? <clears throat> no. Okay. So... How much, where did you start out at? Oh, at the, about the six or so? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, about six. Six fours, 32. <laughs> well, it says here six. This one says one cup is well, five ounces. Well, because they say that for their... <laughs> mm -hmm. Why is it an eight cup, but it's only producing 40 ounces of coffee? Yeah, right, exactly. Yep, so that's what we're going to do. And I was just looking on here to see if they say that it's supposed to hesitate. Um, they show it just running right through. I like to let it sit in there for a little bit and stop. And okay. Gives it more chance to do its thing. All right, well, we will, uh, we're down about halfway then because we're at three. I think we are, yeah. So, so we could pause. Do you want to wait how long? I'm going to give it about 20, 25 minutes. Okay. I'm going to shut it off. All right. You can rest go. now. We'll come back mm -hmm. soon. So, the Bonavita has been sitting for about 25 minutes or so mm -hmm. doing its thing. So we're going to run the other half of the, you can see it's still half full. We're going to run yeah. that back down into the carafe and come on. How often do I want to do this, Gail? If you have hard water, I do it once a month. Okay. If your water is softer or filtered, uh, every three months or so. But I, pro I want to do um, other maintenance more regularly. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. And there's one thing when we get done with this I'll show when you you wipe off the whole machine. Down here, this is a hot plate. It okay. keeps the coffee hot for a while. Mm -hmm. um, I know at my house when I take the pot out, a little dribbles down onto the hot plate. Mm -hmm. Sizzle, sizzle. Well, it bakes on there. All you do is take a nice, you know, wet rag and wipe it off. Okay. It comes right off. They've made these hot plates a lot different than they used to be when I was younger. 
Oh, that's when we used to cook over wood out in the woods. <laughs> So you have to you have to chip the burnt coffee off of the logs. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, I can remember when it dripped down onto the hot plate, it would sizzle on there, and some after a while you couldn't get it off. They've done a they're doing something different. Maybe it's a Teflon. Teflon kind of a thing. Yeah. Um, so this what this is doing is it's cleaning my reservoir as well. Uh -huh. um, but I, I should do that more often than just every time I descale, right? Yes, I like to get in there with a paper towel, even a wet paper towel, and wipe around. You'll see residual you know just stuff left on the inside of the water tank algae yeah it's not so much algae it's like a film oh a okay. cloudy film mm -hmm. and it's not it doesn't seem to be dirty or anything i think it's just a little bit of residual stuff even though you use filtered water it just gets a little cloudy so i like to wipe it out with a, a paper towel i don't use anything for a detergent when i do it okay because you know it would end up in my coffee mm -hmm. or it has the potential for doing that yeah, that's looking good. I'm gonna do this at mine at home, maybe, huh? You think? How long has it been since you've done it, Gail? Uh, let me think. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I do use filtered water, but it's been a while. It's probably mm. been, it's, I bet you it's been a good three months. Okay. But what gets me to doing it is, the carafe will start looking foggy, and I'm like, oh, uh, it's terrible. Got it. That It'll inspire me. you. Yeah, it prompts me to bring home some clean calf from work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's making um, um, punch. Mm-hmm. A blue Hawaiian. Blue Hawaiian. We need a little umbrella in it with a couple of cherries. We're getting down there. Yeah, see, it just sucked up the last of the water. Should we turn it off yep. so that it still keeps some in there? Yep. All right, 20 more minutes? About 20 minutes, So yep. this is what I was talking about earlier. You want to wipe this off. Now we're going to get the fresh water going through. We empty out all the clean calf. Going to fill the reservoir. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Made a mess. <laughs> I can't do much without making a mess, it seems like. Do I need to wait in between on this one, or are we just going to brew a couple water reservoirs through and work No, we're just going to keep running it through to flush it. Okay. Yep. See, it's coming through a little sudsy. I set the box over here. Let me see how long it tell, how, many, how many they recommend to run through. Nah, they only show one, but I like to run enough through. I don't want to take the chance of having a... My first cup to be not so hot. <laughs> okay, so we'll let this guy go. We'll be back. Yep. It's getting there. Yeah, so it's this is still done. the first one, but... It's looking pretty good. Yeah, maybe one more. Yeah, at the most, I think it'll take care of it. We spill water again, cat. Can you fire me? We should make sure it's a wipe and wear service. Oh, it is. <laughs> Okay, so now we, you've just filled up about all the way again. Yep. We'll just run another round through. Yep. Just to make sure. You know, I'm kind you of want to drink about. any soap. Yeah, yeah, you know what that would do to you. Mm -hmm. Looks so, pretty crystal clear, Gail. Clear? Yeah, it looks good. So the only other thing, like I was telling you before, and this is only had just water on it, I always get down in here and I clean the inside of the... And this one's a little bit harder than some of the others. Mm -hmm. I try to clean it as much as I can with a paper towel. Wipe it out. Yep, just to get any junk off of it. But the, you know, the clean calf did a nice job. I can see done. Yeah. It looks good. Looks All really right. Good. So, so that is caring for your little Bonavita coffee maker. Yeah. The glass version. <gasps> Give it a little <gasps> treatment. Thanks, Gail. Yeah, you're welcome. Have a good one.